Hey there, if you're a real estate agent and you're looking to mastering a cold calling script, just follow along. I'm someone that's had uh, 30 listings at a time uh, when I was a real estate sales agent. At this time in our lives, we've built up recurring income that it allows my wife to stay at home and for us to travel the world if we want to. So the cold calling script, the way that it works is you make a call either for expires or generally this is gonna be like geo-targeted leads you would start with trying to figure out if the phone number that you have is associated with the owner. So the way I would do this is I would just say, hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Street? If they say yes, just say, hey, that sounds good. I'm just a real estate sales agent. Uh, I was calling because we had some buyers interested in the area. And so that's the value proposition for a real estate sales agent that would perk someone's interest up if you know they had any inclination of selling their house. It's a problem though if you don't really have any buyers. So what you wanna do is, is get some buyers, either ask your brokerage if you could list some properties up on Facebook Marketplace, on Craigslist, get some buyers. But you, you, you wanna have some, you don't wanna to lie to anyone. So that's kind of the key part. We have buyers interested in the area. Have you thought about selling? If they say yes, you know, and for whatever price, you just say, oh, okay, let me look into that, see if that's an amount that we could get you, right? Would it be all right if we come by Thursday or Friday, choose two separate days, that we come by and check your property out, we can meet face to face and see if that's a number that we could get you. If they say yes, you secured your appointment and then you're in for trying to get that listing. And that's all you have to do over and over again, right? Your value proposition is you have buyers interested in the area, you're a real estate sales agent, and hey, you wanna meet up. The slight twist to that, if you wanted to not go to listing presentations, is you could just try closing them hey, let me do some research for you. Let me see if that number works for you. Is this your best number? Let me look into it and I'll call you back, right? You do some research, get your comps, get your Zillow estimates, your property sharks, all your comps for sold and you know listing in the area. Come up with like a range and just talk to them on the phone. Hey, call them back and you say, hey, you know, you know, looked at your property. I know you wanted this amount. This is the range that I'm seeing. What is the condition of your property? And he's gonna say, oh, it's good. It's excellent. Remodel this or that. It's like, okay, this is the range. This is, would you be all right with this? And then see what they say, right? If, if we got you that, would you be all right with it? If they say yes, you could close them right on the phone and say, hey, sounds good. I'll send you some paperwork that would allow me to, you know, send your house to the buyers that we have and get your house ready to sell. Just take a look at the paperwork. I'm gonna send it to you right now. What's your email address? Okay, I'll send it over right now. Do you have a chance to look it over right now? If yes, you do it right then. If not, it's like, okay, sounds good. I'll give you a call later today or tomorrow and then we'll touch base. Once they look at it, it's like, okay, sounds good. Are you okay with that amount? Answer any questions. You send them a DocuSign or whatever e-signature platform you have. Get the signature and just say, hey, I'll pick up the keys later today. You meet face to face and then my photographer will come by tomorrow or the following day to, to put up pictures. And you go in, you put your sign in, shake the person's hand, you put a lockbox on it. So that's how you close your listings, either securing the appointment or if you're getting enough deal flow that enough listings and opportunities and you want to save that time in doing the listing appointment, you just shoot to close the person right on the phone and you just keep prospecting for more leads. But that's going to be your highest value as a real estate agent that you could do to generate more listings. Let me know if you're interested in getting a prospecting system and hearing how we built up a recurring income stream using land. Uh, let me know as well. Bye.